Hey everyone, it's me, Beverly. I am doing this video today to, I guess, draw some attention to what's been going on in the diamond painting community. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually a social media consultant slash strategist, and I see a lot of things happening on social media all the time. So this was like naturally something that I was drawn to, and I wanted to know more about what was happening with paint with diamonds so this video focuses specifically on paintwithdiamonds.com we're not talking about painting with diamonds uk we're talking about paintwithdiamonds.com and i'll throw up a logo right here so you know what i'm talking about okay so a week ago or so i was notified on facebook about what was happening with stolen artwork and we all know as members of the diamond painting community that stolen artwork is a thing that's happening and it's mostly from companies that are sell like on aliexpress um other companies where they're kind of just drop shippers that type of thing and it's not so much reputable premium art places art diamond painting art places that are selling kits that are unlicensed so basically when you get a diamond painting know that there's been there's an artist behind it either they like the artist licensed their work with a licensing licensing house such as shutterstock or something like that or iphoto or whatever it is stockphoto.com and people can go there buy a license create a diamond painting out of that like with that license or um, they license artists, so they'll reach out to artists, ask them to work with them to create a diamond painting. And we've seen a lot of it before, like you see like artists like Mandy Manzano, uh, Hannah Lynn, Bailey J, et cetera, et cetera, on Diamond Art Club and other websites like uh, Mary's, Mary's Diamonds has licensed artwork, Dreamer Designs. Um, craftably, those types of places have licensed artwork where they actually work with the artist. So the artist gets something when a painting is sold or they get something um, out of the licensing deal, whatever that is. So today we're going to talk about paint with diamonds. That was just an overall thing of what licensing means. So paint with diamonds is based in the USA, they say. They're based out of New York. Um, they have a whole bunch of different kits on their website, and I think to the the non-knowing public about like like if you're just starting with diamond painting, you might not even know that like stolen artwork was a thing. I know that when I started, I didn't even it didn't even cross my mind that hey maybe this artwork is stolen. I just thought hey they probably use a stock site where they are allowed to use these images, but no, that's not the case. So looking at paint with diamonds, you might not think that they're stealing artists' photos. They do work with some licensed artists, I believe, but what was brought to our attention last week was that Mandy Manzano's artwork was actually stolen and copied by paint with diamonds. So if we look on Paint with Diamonds Instagram account, there's actually a post that they recently did two days ago where it says, know that when you purchase from Paint with Diamonds, you're supporting artists. Thank you so much for your continued support. But how are you supporting artists if you're stealing artwork and trying to recreate it with someone else? So Mandy Manzano posted on her Instagram page, I'm not going to read the whole thing. You guys can hit pause and read through the post if you wanted to. And I'll also have links to Mandy's Instagram account so you can read them there if you'd like. But basically what they did was they took Mandy's image, they flipped it, and they recreated it. They changed a little bit. So it's, I guess it's not considered theft if they change it a little bit or just enough. But it is, it's wrong. And the diamond painting community, like those that are in the know, everyone is like so mad about this. And I would be rightfully mad too. If I was Mandy, I'd be like, where's my lawyer? If I guess if I had money to hire a lawyer. <laughs> but also another thing that she came across, and I don't know how she found out about it. Maybe someone told her. Upwork.com, there was a job listing for Pete looking for an illustrator who create who could create stained glass style scenes. And in the post, it says, we're seeking an illustrator artist to create stained glass style scenes around various themes. We are looking to replicate, replicate this sort of style. And then they link to Mandy Manzano's artwork. So 
I don't understand what is going on here, but like, that's pretty ballsy to put a post on Upwork looking for freelancers to replicate someone's style. And what kind of artist actually responds to these things? Like, do they have no moral or ethics behind themselves to like, okay, yeah, I can do that. Um, let me just copy her work or be in, be replicating her work and trying to make it look like Mandy Manzano's artwork which is totally wrong like I feel bad for the artists who are actually applying for this job and as you can see the client on the right hand side it says 71 jobs posted and they've spent over 200k on Upwork and they're paying an average hourly rate of $8.84 an hour and they, they've already spent over $200,000 on Upwork on working with, with freelancers or illust freelance illustrators or small contractors when they could be using this money to just pay the artist instead of ripping off their work. Just pay the artist. It's not that hard. Like reach out, contact an artist. You see it all the time, even with smaller diamond painting companies, they still do the work. They'll still reach out to artists. They'll still make licensing deals with them. But what the hell? Like paint with diamonds was too cheap to actually pay Mandy Manzano for her actual artwork versus just stealing it or replicating it, as they say. And here's an example that she posted on her Instagram and in 2017, they stole her actual art. And when she emailed them, they asked what the complaint was, was with her order. And then they said, what did we steal? She got it removed, but hey, it's still up on the website. It's called Lady of Grace. And you can see in her original post, the original photo on the left-hand side and then the right-hand photo is basically what they replicated or they took inspiration from I use inspiration very loosely because it's such a blatant copy of her work. So I guess the whole point of this video is do not support paint with diamonds and support companies that actually license their artists. And I'll have a link. I'll have a bunch of links below to reputable companies that do support artists and license their artwork and work with artists and pay them. Um, yeah. So everyone makes mistakes. If you have a canvas that you've bought previously, maybe you didn't know it was stolen artwork. Everyone makes these mistakes, but it's up to us. It's up to us, the diamond painting community, to go, when we go out and buy things, make sure it's from a reputable seller who's not stealing artists' artwork because these people have to make a living and these people deserve to get paid for their artwork. It doesn't mean that just because an artist uploads something to the internet, it doesn't mean it's free range for everyone. It basically means I created this, I'm sharing this with my audience or with an audience, doesn't mean that you could steal it for your own um, profit. And that's all I have to say today. I hope this video wasn't too long winded, but let's not support Paint with Diamonds and companies similar to Paint with Diamonds. If you found this video was helpful to you, hit the like button and I'd so, so appreciate it. If you wanted to join my hive, all you have to do is click subscribe. It will either be on this side of the screen or this side of the screen. And until then, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.